Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about Caitlin Clark in Jordan, Canada. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show, taking y'all time to subscribe to the channel, liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate all that. Now let's go. So in Down the Fever, they got the win over the Atlanta Dream. But now they had a large lead, but they let Atlanta Dream cut into that lead real easy like butter. Now, this is a problem with Indiana Fever and Chris decides that they have been having is that they cannot hold a lead and keep it consistently without letting teams get back in in the last minute of the game. It came down to where Atlanta Dream had a good chance of winning this game. But they did get the win 84 to 79. They only won by five points. Indiana Fever only won by five points, but they was up to, I want to say, 15, 18 points. I mean, you name it. They had big leagues even going to the halftime. This is something that Chris decides is going to have to fix. No more talking about making adjustments and no more talking about the team being inexperienced. Y'all been together long enough to where this team should know what to do on defense. Something got to be done because y'all are not going to be able to make a good run in the playoffs if y'all can't sit up here and keep a lead without letting teams get in. Yes, y'all are getting a win, but this is not going to happen every time. But we got to give credit to Case Kelsey Mitchell. Kelsey Mitch Mitchell led the team with 29 points. She was on fire once again. Maybe she is really trying to earn that contract because she has really been a savior for them. Now, Caitlin Clark, she did her thing, but Kelsey Mitchell really stepped up to the plate. But now, it was a moment in this game where Caitlin Clark had a hard foul on Jordan, Canada. And now it was only called a common foul. Now people's on the social media, the players going viral and people are talking about it in comparison to when Angel, Angel Reese had fired Caden Clark the same way, but it was called a flagrant. And so they're saying that Caden Clark should actually be getting a flagrant foul. This is what the person said. So let this be proof that Caden Clark commits these type of fouls too, going for the block, but hits Jordan Canada upside the head. Now let's roll this video to show the play when it actually happened. Now you see that video. Now, of course we know Caitlin Clark wasn't intentionally trying to hit Jordan Canada across the head. No different than Angel Reese wasn't trying to hit Caitlin Clark across her head. As you playing basketball, sometimes it's hard to control your body once you commit. She already committed to try to go for the block, but that didn't happen. She wasn't able to catch her with her, but she had already started swinging her arm. And by the time Jordan um, Canada released the ball, Caitlin Clark ended up uh, hitting across the head. Now, what people are saying is, is that they only call this a coming foul. But for Angel Reese, it wasn't. So they're trying to say that it's not being fairly called when it's Caitlin Clark. And y'all know with her being the star player of Spotlight, sometimes the refs overlook some things, but sometimes they don't. But like I say, um, Jordan Kempton did get up and brushed it off. Um, hope everything was good with that. And she made her free throws and kept the game going. But like I say, the referees are going to have to make sure they're calling this game fairly regardless of Caitlin Clark committing the same foul or not. Now, let's move on to Aaliyah Boston. Aaliyah Boston, um, she did her thing tonight also. She recorded her 11th double-double of the season. She came away with 14 points, 11 rebounds, and 4 assists. Aaliyah Boston really has been balling on the court. She had some moments where she kind of go like unnoticed. But she really kicked this game off for of them to really get going. Nalissa Smith, she also did her thing as well. I feel like Aaliyah Boston and Nalissa Smith are the two bigs down low. 
But Leah Boston is like the number one, and Nalissa Smith is number two. But Nalissa Smith also has a good mid-range jumper. Now, Caden Clark came away with 15 points and five assists, but in 21 games, this is the most that has been done by any player in WNBA history. But now, also for Atlanta Dream, they also had their second sold-out game again. And like I say, the Atlanta Dream coach, Tanisha Wright, before the game, she already, you know, showed love to Caitlin Clark because she recognized that the sold-out games is mainly because of her, but the game has to continue to grow. Caitlin Clark responded to that, and let's check out this video, what she had to say. I feel like I'm only 22 years old, but I, I, only, I act like I'm 10, so I don't know. I feel like I'm just a kid that plays basketball and has a lot of fun, and for me, like, coming into these arenas and these environments, like, I look around and it's incredible. Like, it really is. Like, I don't show up and expect, like, these crowds. Like, sure, like, maybe you've gotten a little bit used to it, but... For me, like that's not anything that ever gets old. It, re it really is something that's really cool, like especially as a young girl who grew up going to games. And you know, as a young girl, if I would have came to a game in a building like this and seen this type of crowd. I think I would have been kind of in heaven. <laughs> um, so for myself, I, I think it just it makes me really happy. It makes me smile. Uh, it gives me a lot of joy to just see the impact that I I've been able to have. My teammates have been able to have. Um, women's basketball players all across the country have been able to have. And um, I hope it continues to grow because I feel like this league is really just, you know, scratching the surface. There's so much that can continue to improve and continue to get better. Um, and I hope I'm a part of that going forward and, you know, just being an advocate for every single person in this league and, you know, keep pushing this thing forward and enjoying it all at the same time and having a lot of fun. So you heard Caden Clark responding to the attendance, the sold out game. This was a Leonard dream. Uh, um, biggest WNBA game in Georgia history. That thing was packed and loaded like a baked potato. They had 17,608 people. I mean, they are making a lot of, lot of improvements with the WNBA. People are coming out. Of course, they're coming out to see Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark. Most of the fans, from what people are seeing in the arena, was Indiana Fever fans and all wearing Caden Clark number 22 jerseys. Now, that has to change at some point for the WNBA to grow because you don't want just all the fans that's coming to the game to only just be for Indiana Fever. You want the other teams as well to start packing the stands out with people that are fans of them. You, you want it to be balanced. And for the WNBA to grow, other teams – are going to have to start pulling in their weight and bringing in fans. They can't just rely on Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark because if that's the case, that means the only games that are going to have a record number of attendance are only going to be the times when the team played Caitlin Clark. And you want it to be more than just that. Now, like I said, this was a good win for Indiana Fever, but Chris's size has a lot of work to do. People still want her at the unemployment line standing in line like a soldier. They still feel like she does not qualify to be the coach for Caden Clark and his Indiana Fever. They feel like they need another coach, and they also should have made some adjustment trade deadlines to bring some people in. But they didn't, so they got to live with what they have. But if they're going to make a run for the playoffs to try to go deep, then they're going to have to really get it together when they get a lead. Because right now, it's looking like they can't hold them at all. But y'all get in the comments there what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share this video. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And also follow my social media at GertieMac15. Holla.